Hi there everyone, I'm up on Dartmoor today with Sam and we're going to show you how to pitch a couple of tents. We've got the MSR Hubba Hubba and the Hilleberg Rogan. They are the same but different. So the Rogan pitches as one and the MSR pitches inner first and you chuck the fly over. So we're going to pitch those now and then we'll go through some of the details on them afterwards. So as you can see, the Rogan is now up. That's a pitched as one tent. That's all done, ready to go in there. And uh, Sam's still struggling with putting the fly onto that hubba hubba. So in bad weather, um, the Hilleberg tent has the advantage because if it's raining, the tent's up, the inner's in, it's all dry. The downside, of course, with the uh, as one tent is you don't get quite as much inside space and you can't pitch it inner only. So the nice thing about that Hubba Hubba is on a real nice evening, um, you can pitch it just with the inner and have it as a kind of a bug net. So you can still get some protection from flies, biting insects, uh, but not have the rain fly on there. So uh, once Sam finishes this, We'll just maybe get a close-up of some of the tents, get some more shots of them for you guys and answer some more questions. So now we've got both these tents pitched, let's get a close look at them, shall we? And um, we'll start with the Rogan, this side. It uses a lightweight nylon fabric on the fly sheet. They call it Curlon 1000 and it has a uh, triple silicon treatment. So it's got a silicon coating three times on it twice on the outside and once on the inside. Uh, this maintains the fabric's lightness and makes it really strong. So it's got really high tear resistance for such a lightweight fabric. The downside of this is it's very expensive. So it's a really expensive way to make a fabric waterproof and uh, give it high tear strength. But it pays for itself in the long run. Um, they are like an investment in these tents. You've probably seen how expensive they are. The alternative is making a combination fabric, which is what you get on the MSR tent. So this tent is again a lightweight nylon fabric. It's got a polyurethane coating on the inside, which is taped, and a silicon coating on the outside. So you get the kind of high level waterproofness of polyurethane, and it's a little bit cheaper to do, but you also get the benefits of the silicon on the outside to keep the tear strength high and the weight down. So both these tents are like three season tents. They're not designed for the depths of winter. Um, and you can see this by the fact that the fly sheets on both of them don't come right the way down to the ground. So you can see it on the Rogan, and then also you can see that kind of a cutaway in the fabric here on the uh, Hubba Hubba. What this does is increase airflow on the inner of the tent while all the doors are done up. So the, the air comes in, it goes over the, the inner and back out the other side to draw out all the condensation. Something which small tents really struggle with is condensation issues. Um, if you're in here, especially with two people, this fabric is really waterproof, which means your condensation can't get out. So it's important to make sure you've got plenty of ventilation. And uh, a three season tent is perfect for most camping in the UK, really, unless you're planning on doing full on winter camping in Scotland, a three season tent is kind of what we generally recommend. Uh, we'll have a look at the innards on both of these now as well. And you can see what I mean by three season, because they both have lots of mesh on the inside. So if you want to come in here with me, this tent has got lots of mesh on it. Uh, here, here, all this kind of black part you can't really see very well um, is mesh, which means you've got really good airflow. So great in warmer conditions, but not so good in the cold conditions because all your warm air you're keeping inside the tent is going to escape easily. Uh, the Rogan, we have a look at that one now as well. So Hilleberg have two great big mesh doors. Not as much mesh panelling as you get on the MSR tent. The doors are both mesh and the rest of the tent is, is a nylon. The reason they've done this is when you get condensation on the fly sheet, if it drips onto the inner, it will roll down and kind of rush, rush off the tent. 
on a mesh tent, if you get condensation drips on the roof and it's mesh on the roof, that can come down inside the tent and you might get some drips on you. It won't be a tent leaking, it'll just be condensation. That was a quick look at the differences between the Rogan and the Hubba Hubba. If you have any questions, head to our website, pop into stores, or comment below. Thanks for watching.